Good morning. <laughs> How can you be so cheery first thing in the morning? <laughs> Actually, it's not first thing in the morning. <laughs> I slept in way, I slept in till almost quarter, oh, I slept in till uh, quarter of 10. Ooh, yeah, I need that sometimes. So I'd like to read Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 16. That's Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, <clears throat> hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Um, that was one. Uh, I marked another one here. <laughs> Can I remember which one did I mark? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe not. Okay. So I think, okay. I will read to you 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who Privy shall bring a damnable, damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. It's, uh, it's crazy to me to think that people would make a YouTube channel claiming to speak for the Lord Jesus Christ and, uh, and say they have dreams and visions and they're not really. It's crazy to me to think that there are those who are I don't know. <laughs> Delusional enough to do that because uh, I the he's the almighty who can you know decide that uh he's going to um, send you to hell. How can you not have a healthy fear? A fear. A something. Because a handful of times I have um, mistakenly told a lie in my videos. I'll give you an example. I was talking in one video about how I'm a vegetarian, which is true. I don't, I don't, um, it's very rare that I eat, um, chicken. Um, and, uh, vegetarian just means that I get most of my vitamins and minerals, um, from, uh, food products that aren't meat, but I don't, I haven't, I said that I hadn't had red meat and pork in like a decade which what I didn't mean to falsely uh, falsify a statement uh, but I for I had forgotten months ago I ordered a Hawaiian pizza for um, for my 16 year old daughter because that's what she wanted and I was like oh, I was kind of disturbed by ham and pineapple on a pizza and I thought well I'll order it because she wants it and I'll just pick off the the ham pieces and not eat it well I wound up you know taking a bite and there was ham in it and I never felt I felt so sick 
uh, later on that evening. So I did have ham months ago, but I felt, I felt the need to go back to that video and type in the description air box to say that, you know, I unintentionally, I don't want to mislead anyone. I said that I haven't had pork in a decade, but I just remembered that I did. So, you know, I mean, that's the Holy Spirit convicting you, chastising you. You feel guilt, even though I didn't lie on purpose. Um, and, uh, saying that wasn't going to harm anyone i could have just apologized uh, and repented uh, to lord jesus christ privately and just said oh you know what i meant <laughs> like you you know you know i didn't mean to lie on purpose but i still felt the need to go and do that so that's a really good example so uh I know that most people don't have his Holy Spirit because of their fruit. Um, the way, like how they, uh, how they speak about others. And it's one thing about rebuking um, others on YouTube to say they're teaching a false doctrine um and and just correcting them but it's another thing to get all personal and start calling them names like witches and different things and i don't know i just you only need to be wrong once yes they're teaching a false doctrine yes it's important as a servant to the lord jesus christ to message them if they or speak to them if they refuse to listen to you and block you well you you did what you um were led to do i've been blocked by about 20 people <laughs> we don't want truth on this channel <laughs> I laugh well I mean it's not it's really not funny because they um, have condemned themselves convicted themselves and I try not to think about it I try not to think about it as a whole not like in depth because just because how am I supposed to get through each and every day interacting with people if I'm an emotional wreck I'm not going to help anyone that way. I have to keep a sound mind and keeping a sound mind is to be able to look upon things uh, in a way that I have 100% faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ because he's just and loving and merciful. That he knows what he's doing. So that's that's part of your faith walk that it may not be easy to witness as a watchman the things that you do but you're putting your trust 100 percent in your faith in the lord jesus christ so it does it, it hurts me and i again i try to be like a child and just um not be ignorant about it, but just know of it and be aware of it, but not get so emotionally wrapped up in it because you could get swallowed up for sure. And Satan wants you to have doubts. He wants you to um, question the Lord Jesus Christ and um, yeah it's don't don't give Satan that satisfaction you know um, I think a lot of people um, uh, are falling away they have an unsound mind because they didn't seal up all their their cracks um, essentially with faith and trust they didn't seal up 
you know, there was an opening in their mind or an opening in their heart that Satan saw the opportunity to go in there and cause havoc. And that's why you see so many people who um, are trusting in themselves versus trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. And these are people who claim to be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. They, uh, they say they have a dream and they say it's from the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not saying that some people don't have dreams. I've had a couple. I, um, I, I shared it briefly, um, on the beginning of my walk. Um, I didn't say that it meant anything. I just shared them. Um, Satan can come in the form of the angel of light. Um, can whisper in your ear and you think the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to you. Can do a lot of things because Satan's very clever and I think people have it in their mind that they are stronger and wiser um, than, than he is and they're not. None of us are. That's why it's so important to give your life as a living sacrifice to say, Father, I can't do this on my own. I, I'm not able to get through this without you taking control. So you give everything to the Lord Jesus Christ. You give him the reins of your life because if you don't, I, I've said this many times, you are going to be misled. You're going to be deceived and you'll go into tribulation because you haven't given yourself to say, hey, I can't, I can't do this, Father, on my own. Sorry, my hair is in my eye. Most people are false prophets. I think it's really crazy how I see all these people who say prophet or prophetess, even though all it means is they are a mess. They are a messenger of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what that means. They're a messenger. Um, but they're not. They're not messengers. They're not speaking for the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how encouraging it sounds, it seems to me that a lot of them want you to focus on the rapture when they're not even ready for the rapture. How do you become ready for the rapture? Uh, by coming out of the world completely, as much as you can. I mean, I work in the world. I am in the world, but I am not of the world. Uh, those that lose their life will gain everlasting life. Those who try to save their lives try to be selfish and do their own thing and just say, I'm going to go out in the world and just live out my life, they will lose their life. It's very clear. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's absolutely crazy when I see people uh, with no fear in their hearts at all. Their hearts have been seared, hardened. Their conscience has been seared. Their hearts have been hardened. Yeah. <laughs> know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's very dangerous to say that you're speaking for the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I would question it deeply. Uh, I'm not saying question the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm not saying question his word. His word is 100% truth. 
I'm saying if you're hearing voices, having dreams, having visions, uh, it's funny that they, they lean to the scriptures that people are having vision, people will have visions, people will have dreams, you know, Satan's hoping that you'll lean on that and, um, and believe your dream more than what the scripture says believe your vision or the or the voices that whisper in your ear uh, more than his living word. He wants you to lean on your own understanding. He wants you to lean on yourself. He wants you to idolize yourself, essentially. So, pray for them. I pray and then I, I, I recheck people's channels, the ones that I'm deeply worried about. I, as a watchman, I, I periodically, I don't watch all their videos. I don't have the time to do that, but periodically I watch videos of others that I'm praying for that I've seen fall away, essentially. And I just see that their unsound mind and their delusion is becoming deeper. And it's very sad because I can no longer reach out to these individuals because I've been blocked. By the way, I've never blocked a single person. I don't agree with um, all the comments that I receive. I hear people out, I read them, sometimes I comment, sometimes I don't, um, but I've never blocked a single person because I know the Lord Jesus Christ would never do that. So this message concluding it, be wise. You know whether someone is speaking for the Lord Jesus Christ or not, because does it match up with scripture? That's all you have to really rely on is does it match up with scripture? If it does not, it is not from the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So I hope everyone has a really good weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any videos this weekend, but if I don't, I hope you have a great weekend and God bless.